The Association of Mutual Funds in India or AMFI has made categorization changes that might impact your investments. Following a semi-annual reshuffle, Geo Financial has entered the large cap club while three recently listed stocks, Tata Tech, JSW Infra and Irida have made it to the mid-cap category after their recent gains. I'm Meghna Chadha from ET Markets and let's dive into the details of the latest Amphi rejig. Now Amphi classifies companies into three categories in terms of market capitalization. Those ranked from 1 to 100 in market cap are called large caps, from 101 to 250 are mid caps and small cap firms are those ranked from 251 onwards. The large cap threshold now stands at Rs 67,000 crore, up from Rs 49,700 crore in June 2023. The mid cap cutoff has risen to Rs 22,000 crore compared to Rs 17,400 crore previously. Now moving on to the stocks that have been impacted in this reshuffle, apart from Geo Financial, which is the big winner here moving from the mid cap to large cap basket, eight other stocks that have also joined the large cap club are Power Finance Corporation IRFC, Macrotech Developers, Polycap India REC, Sriram Finance, Union Bank and Indian Overseas Bank. Stocks that have been upgraded from small cap to mid cap include Mazgaon Dock, Suzlon Energy, Lloyds Metals, SGVN, Kalyan Jewelers, KEI Industries, Credit Access Grameen, Excide Industries, Nippon Life, Ajanta Pharma, Narayana Hrudaya, and Glenmark Pharma. Now, these changes will come into effect in February and will be valid till July this year. Quickly moving to the downgrades now, UPL, Adani Wilmer, PI Industries, IRCTC, Hero Motor Corp and Samvardhana Madhasan have been downgraded from the large cap to mid cap category. Rajesh Exports, Whirlpool India, Ato Limited, Loris Labs, Bharat Dynamics, Bata India, Kajaria Ceramics, Vinati Organics, Pfizer, Arthi Industries among others have been downgraded to small cap from the mid cap category. Now let's talk about the impact of this reject on investments. So the Amphi stock categorization list is mainly referred to by active equity mutual fund managers. Now this may not necessarily lead to inflows or outflows as the decision of active fund managers also depends on fundamentals and other non-qualitative factors. That's all in this video. Thank you for watching.